Have you ever wanted to reseal your garbage cards and try to sell them to suckers online? Well, I'm going to show you step by step how to clear out these trash cards and make some money. First, get an empty pack wrapper and grab 10 cards. Make sure you get one hollow and two reverses so that your victims don't catch on that they've been tricked. Again, you're going to want to have 10 cards and make sure they're a good mix of trainers along with commons and uncommons. Then you just flip your stack over and don't forget to include an energy card like this darkness card and then toss in an unused code card for good measure. At this point, you just take the wrapper, carefully slide your pack inside, push the seam together and squeeze the crimp at the top to reactivate the glue and your pack will look perfect again. Now, if you want your bundle to look super convincing, you could also throw in an ultra rare card just like this walking wake. Card collectors see one of these and immediately lose all of their suspicions. Just make sure that you put in the reverses, that you line up all of your cards correctly, and as always, make sure that you include an energy card and an unused code card. At this point, you can go ahead and seal it up, press hard on the crimp, and those suckers will be none the wiser. Repeat this process for the rest of the packs as well, making sure that you put together six packs total for the box. I threw in a double rare Torterra EX to keep them off my scent, and I made sure to really tightly seal each one of my packs so that no one would notice they'd already been opened. Now as I was finishing my fifth pack, I started to worry that whoever bought my open box would be disappointed. So I did something a little extra with my very last pack. I decided to throw in this valuable illustrator card into the mix, and I included a regular hollow too. It turns out that the illustrator card is actually worth about $13. I thought that putting this in there would help keep them happy. I mean, this could be a bundle that could be bought for a little kid, right? I may be a scammer, but I'm not a bad guy. Now, after putting in a lightning energy and, of course, adding in an unused code card to the pack, I took all of my cards and slid them into the wrapper, pressing hard on the crimp line as always so that my last pack would be good to go. Now you just take those six packs you made and you slide them into the booster bundle box, making sure that your card packs stay all sealed up and that your box stays together, which can actually be kind of tricky. Go ahead and slide the cover up over the top and push it all together. Go ahead at this point and grab that cellophane wrap you had sitting aside and slap it back on the box, wrapping the whole thing together tightly. Pinch those edges together and you're good as gold. Those fools will have no clue that they just bought an opened booster bundle.